Hello, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing your monthly reading for our Pisces for the month of May 2017. So we are going to start, as we normally do, with our theme of the month. We're going to get some additional guidance from the Angel Tarot deck, and then we're going to be focusing on life purpose this month. So this will give you some clues and some guidance around what you're meant to be doing here on Earth. And to do that kind of check-in, am I doing those things? Am I using my gifts? Am I sharing my gifts with the world? So that's going to be what that's about this month. So we've got the Hermit card coming in, which is Archangel Raziel. And this is all about getting quiet and going within. Um, so we um, have retrograde, Mercury retrograde for another couple days, I think, on um, May 3rd. Um, is when that ends and of course that lingers a little bit beyond that but that's always a good time to do introspection as well but this is really about kind of spiritual teaching it's about going within to learn to get quiet to hear the guidance right that's coming in and it's all about self-discovery so that's in general what life is about is about discovering more about ourselves and connecting with who we truly are and meditation is a beautiful gateway for that so that's what's coming in for you to focus on this month let's see what else is coming up for you just realized I don't have my I've been doing all these reasons and I never put up my little um, finding your Fiji uh, backdrop so oh well is what it is I do have it somewhere um, upstairs I think maybe I'll get it out for the for the last reading for Aries or maybe I won't <laughs> all right Let's see what we've got here so we've got the Chariot, Archangel Metatron, one of my favorite angels. This Chariot card is really about, um, you know, again, about taking the reins of your life. It's about having that self-discipline, that willpower, and actually, you know, getting, accomplishing things, right? Having, and having accomplished things, getting some recognition for that, that pat on the back, which we all love, right? It, it helps us feel valued. It helps us feel worthy. And it's kind of that um, reward, if you will, for for doing a good job and so this chariot um, piece of things is really going to be something that uh, is important for you this month so self discipline but the biggest pieces of this self-discipline and willpower right okay doing the things that you're meant to be doing um, we've got the king of air coming in the air cards are all about the head and the intellect and this king of air is a duality card so on the one hand about a person on the other hand, about a circumstance or experience, kings of airs are very brilliant, right? Very, very smart, diplomatic. Um, they're very good, like, mediators, that type of thing. They're able to kind of see both sides of things. And also, obviously, very professional as well. The other side of this is about you needing to speak your mind and doing this with confidence. So not this weak, timid, mousy voice. It's a confident voice, right? And the other piece of this is for you to get some professional advice. So maybe you need to seek out a mentor. Maybe you need um, to get advice on, on something you know, else, like a, a, an attorney's advice or a CPA or a, um, uh, you know, I don't know, business coach, whatever you may have. Um, so it's really about balancing the mental stuff, what's going on up here with the emotional, what you're feeling in your heart, okay? Getting a good balance between the two of those. All right. And then we've got six of earth coming in. The earth cards are all about how you make your money, what you need to do to be here on earth. And the six of earth is about um, uh, receiving and giving gifts of time, of money, that type of thing. It is an abundance card. Um, so sometimes it might mean that you get a loan or you receive money in some way, right? You're able to pay off some debts, that type of thing. Um, that's what comes in around this. And it's also about opportunities. So when you look at this card, there's like many different, um, you know, opportunities there. So it is um, about opportunities as well for you. And I really feel like... Um, Again, it's about balancing things. So it's about that balance of energy. So if we have, you know, like this stone that I'm holding, which is, happens to be a labradorite, in one hand, and I've got nothing in the other, this is going to be imbalanced, right? So we want to bring more balance to your life. 
around, um, around that. Okay, so let's see what we've got for your life purpose. What you're meant to be doing in the world. All right, we've got light and love, one of my favorite cards. This is all about extending your light and your love to the world. It really is about helping people open up to more light, helping people open up to see things from the perspective of love. Uh, so I wish I could remember the author. I don't, I think he was an actor of some sort, but um, it was, I believe the book was called What Would Love Do? And so that might be something if you feel called to check that out, but it's really a different perspective when you're looking at things in your life and trying to decide what to do. It's like, well, what would love do, right? Love is not going to scream and holler. Love is not going to um, be vengeful. You know, there's a lot of different things that you can look at from that perspective. Um, you are meant to be a leader, so this is coming through um, for you. You are meant to be a leader. And when this leadership card comes in, there's a couple different things that can be going on. Number one, of course, it can be around um, taking a leadership role in your life or your business. Number two, it can be about taking charge of a particular situation. So if there's something that you haven't like stepped up and like, oh, I gotta handle this, then you need to step up and just take charge of that. So that's the other piece that can be coming in. Sensitivity is the last one. Um, this is all about letting you know that you're getting more sensitive, okay? So this can show up in a number of different ways. You might energetically be more sensitive where maybe you can't be around negative people as much anymore. You might be sensitive to foods. You might be sensitive to things that you're drinking. Um, you might be sensitive to energy in spaces, right? There's so many different ways that this can show up. You're getting more sensitive. Pay attention and do what you need to do to clear your energy field, right? To clear things out. That's going to be very important for you this month. So that's what I've got for you. Um, stay tuned for the next video that will give you some quick feng shui tips for your health. For now, much love. Hello, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here with your monthly feng shui tip for the month of May 2017. Today we're going to talk about your health, and in particular, the very center of your space, which is what correlates to your health in the feng shui bagua. So you'll notice that this particular area is in the center of the space, so this would be the center of your bagua, and the bagua will include your garage if it's attached to your home. It's based upon the front door, so the front door to the space would be along this line typically. If you have an unusual uh, setup with your home, I definitely encourage you to, to connect with a feng shui expert to help you determine where your bagua is and where things lie. But today we're going to focus on the health area, and so I'm going to give you some quick tips around the health. What I want you to do is look at the center of your home and see what is in the center. There are a number of things that can cause issues if they are located in the center of your home. Number one is um, a furnace or a water heater, okay? Those two things can actually burn up your house. So if that's located in the center of your home, that can cause issues for you regarding your health. What do you do about that? There's a very simple, quick fix that you can do. Um, get a small mirror. It can be just like a one inch or two inch, two inch size mirror. And you're gonna place it face down on the furnace. If you have both a furnace and a water heater in your center, I would suggest that you get two mirrors and place one on one face down and another on the other face down, okay? So that's gonna remedy, that's gonna help um, uh, contain that fire energy to keep that from burning up your health. The second thing that can cause issues is if you have a stove in the center. Very similar, burning up your health, right? And what you want to do in that regard in order to sort of um, uh, calm down that fire energy, stoves we like, no matter where they're located, obviously, because they relate to your finances and your money. They're always correlated to your money, but when they are in the health sector, it can affect your health. So what I would suggest is that you put a mirror above the stove 
um, facing down. And so basically that's going to kind of help um, contain that fire energy so it doesn't burn up your health. The next Thing that I would like you to pay attention to is fireplaces. So if you have a fireplace in your center, that again can burn up your health. So fireplaces, what can you do about that? Obviously you can't move it, just like these other things, you aren't able to move them. Uh, so what you want to do is add the element of water. And water, it, the element of water can of course be physical water, like a picture of water, picture of a lake or a waterfall. Um, any type of picture of water would do and you would hang that over the fireplace. Or you can use other aspects of that element. So um, the element of water also has a color associated with it, black or navy blue. So you could add something, black or navy blue, to that area to help sort of calm down that fire. The other thing that you could do to add water would be to add like an undulating shape. So something flowy or something that sort of has that undulating shape. So those are kind of water elements. You have another option related to elements to calm down that fire and it is allowing or giving the fire something to do and that's by placing a um, a wood element there. So you're not going to do all of these. You're going to just pick one, one that resonates with you. So you're either going to place one water element, uh, again could be a, a mirror, uh, um, something with an undulating shape or something black or navy blue. Not all three of those, just one. Or you can choose a gentler adjustment which is using wood element. And the wood element is something green, something that would be columnar shape, so it doesn't have to be all of these, just one, one of these. Something green or something columnar shape or something made of wood, okay? So you have lots of different options for kind of calming down that fire energy of the fireplace in the center of your home. And it does not matter if this fireplace works or not. Uh, that's a whole other discussion if things don't work, but it doesn't matter if it works or not, whether it's gas or a um, real wood fireplace, it still has an effect on your health. So those are some kind of quick tips for you around health. I will be doing um, much more in the deep dive reading around um, staircases, how they affect your health if they're in the center. Uh, bathrooms, how they affect your health in a number of different areas of your home, and also the things that you see when you enter your front door. So if you'd like more information about that, make sure to um, either join my membership, that would be the best thing because you get lots of juicy bonuses for only $8.88 a month, or purchase a single reading for $5.55, and that will give you those deeper dive uh, in those deeper dive health tips for your feng shui aspects. For now, relax, have fun, and enjoy the month of May. Much love to you.